Hello, today we will be going through the process of setting up an entire YouTube channel just using your smartphone. Now, this will work even if you're using an Android or an iPhone and I'm making this video especially for my clients and students who do not at the moment have a PC or a laptop or a desktop to use for setting up their YouTube channel and so it is very possible and even easy to set up an entire YouTube channel just using your smartphone and in this video we will be going through the entire process first is you won't be using the native YouTube app for this process no you won't be using a native YouTube app you will be using a browser so you're going to open a browser it could be Google Chrome it could be Mozilla Firefox it could be Microsoft Edge it could be anything but for the purpose of this demonstration I will be using Opera browser right and so you can use google chrome or whatever you have so when you open your browser just simply type in youtube.com you type in youtube.com and click in enter and this will give you access to the youtube platform but now without using the youtube app you are using a browser to access the youtube platform if you click on the top in here you discover that it is plain if you already have a google account you can sign in and use it to create your youtube channel however if you don't want to use that google account or that gmail account to create a youtube channel you have the opportunity to create another google account or gmail account and use it for your youtube channel so you simply click in sign in and you will discover that it gives you the opportunity to type in your email because you need a gmail account a google account to be able to create your youtube channel so it gives you an opportunity to use an existing email or down to create a new one so you create you use to manage my business and you create a new gmail account or google account and come back in here and type in your gmail i have google accounts that i can use for this demonstration so i'll just use one let me just use perfect health community gmail.com and i just simply click next and it will ask me to put in my password and i'll click next now it's asking for other things i'll just say not now because i want to go ahead and create my youtube channel now you see now i am logged in as malik haruna and uh, perfect health community at gmail.com now when you come in here you come into the right top here and just simply click in your channel because now i don't have a channel there is no channel this gmail account this google account doesn't have a youtube channel and so we want to go through the process of creating a channel you can see it says create channel here now stop at this moment don't proceed if you proceed at this moment you are only going to create a personal youtube channel there are two types of youtube channel there's a personal channel and a brand channel you don't want to create a personal channel because it is limited you rather want to create a brand channel and if you proceed from this point onwards you're going to end up creating a personal channel and with a personal channel i will only be forced to use this name malik haruna however if i create a brand channel i can name my channel whatever i want i can change it at any time the other importance and advantage of creating a brand channel as opposed to creating a personal channel is with a brand channel i can have other persons come to help me to manage my channel especially if my channel grows more bigger if you want to outsource some of the aspects of your channel management then you can bring in people if you are using a brand youtube channel and so you can have people like administrators editors managers come in to my help to manage your channel so if we go on with this we're going to end up creating a personal youtube channel and that's not what we want so the next step is you are going to convert this mobile view to a desktop view every browser has the opportunity to have a desktop view so that you can approach it as if you are working on a desktop right so you click on top here and then you see desktop site so you see now it has opened as if we are looking at this from a desktop this is the only way you'll be able to create a brand channel as opposed to just a personal channel so just come to the top in here Let's click create a channel and now it tells you it says your youtube journey begins so just click on get started you see what i'm saying now it gives you two op options you can use your name malik haruna or you can create a custom name we prefer to create a custom name so i just click on select here and now it says add your channel name the beauty here is that you can name your channel anything and i did an extensive video guiding you on how to choose a channel name for your youtube channel and you can see that video by clicking the link in the description 
description section below and don't worry about this you can always come in here to change your channel name and so now i'm going to type in realtor malik assuming that i'm a realtor real estate agent and i want to use my youtube channel to get more leads and close more sales and i click create i simply click on youtube studio so now you can see you say nice work your channel realtor malik has been created now it's time for us to customize this channel first it says upload pictures you simply click in here and then look for a picture your picture should be like a passport photograph and so i could just simply click here to upload a picture i click in allow i click allow i could go to my file so i could simply use this okay so you see i've uploaded my profile so the next step here is say tell the viewers about your channel so here simply you welcome them so welcome to the official realtor malik youtube channel in this channel you what you talk about your expectation what they expect to get so in this channel you expect to get blah 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 so tell them what they expect and also give sample topics okay you get topics on these topics on that and then you give a call to action so en encourage them to subscribe so if you do that you will discover that you have described your channel well so i'm not going to go through the process to bore you but exactly that is the process you use now it says add links to your site so if you have a website i could just put a website i could just say if you have a website you can put that if you don't you could just skip that realtormalik.com then you are supposed to put in your social media handles here so i could just say realtor facebook.com start realtor malik um twitter realtor malik so the best practice is to have all your social media platform with similar or same handle then if you have put in your website if you have one and or your social links you can simply click save and continue so remember we are accessing the youtube platform using a browser and secondly we are doing this with the desktop view that's the only opportunity that you have to create and add all of this this is our channel our channel has been created but it is still naked and it's still empty and so we'll go ahead with the process of optimization so first let's just go to customize youtube channel so now it says um hello to new you could just skip this and then now for the channel customization it takes you step by step the process that you can use for customization so you see the layout you can choose your branding you can choose your you can put your basic information we're done with the basic information you remember did the channel description and here we have the channel url so this is our channel url apart from that we put in some of our links links on the banner so you can choose the links that you want to show on your banner especially on desktop right i can just say the first four links because i have just one two three four links here then now contact information i could just put my contact information and email address there perfect health community community at gmail.com if you have a website you could just say contact at perfect health community.com right and so with that i could simply go to the top in here and click publish so that i'll publish these changes i have and say the changes have been published so now let me move a little to the left now you see we've done with the basic info info here now let's look at branding changed our profile picture you can equally go ahead to remove it or to change it from this point and now let's look at the banner image this is the image that appears on the top it is ideal that you use don't leave it plain i see many new youtubers and newbies do that don't leave it plain try and put a banner on top of your youtube channel and then you can use canva to design this and i've done a tutorial on that on how to use canva to design this if you go to canva.com and you have the app you can simply come in to templates and search for you can just have youtube channel art and then use one of these and customize it i've already done that with my and it's very simple and i will do an extensive video showing you how to do this on your mobile phone but for now let's move on because i've already designed this so i simply click on upload here and then i go to my files and i look for a banner um, okay let me save the one i have so i've already created one quickly here real tamalic real estate investment lifestyle i could just simply click in and download this so i can use it for my 
new channel now this process is usually smooth sometimes you might have to use a different browser sometimes some browsers don't work very well but i discovered that um, opera mini and google chrome work very well so now let me just select this and upload it and so it is giving up an opportunity to adjust it and so i can simply uh, zoom in here and click done so i've uploaded my channel banner the next thing it tells me here is video watermark it is a watermark that appears on the lower left side of your videos and helps increase your subscribers it is a watermark that people can just click and they automatically get subscribed to your youtube channel and i've done an extensive video on how to design and upload these on a desktop now let's look at how to do this on a laptop since we already have our banner our channel art our channel banner uploaded, let's just click on publish so that we can save our changes now it's time for us to upload this video watermark i simply click on this i click on this <clears throat> i've already downloaded it so i could just simply click on this click on done and so you can see it is uploaded it is let's view our channel and see how far we've gone okay so our channel is beginning to take shape we have an image there we have a banner there let's go back to customize channel and continue with the customization process click off these now let's go to the layout this layout is where you can put a channel trailer if you have a channel trailer it is very important you have a channel trailer so that people who are not subscribed to your youtube channel they will see the youtube trailer and it will help them to encourage them to subscribe and the trailer is simple you can just make it about one minute long and just say hey welcome to the official blah 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 channel on this channel expect to get things like this 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 do well to subscribe simple it could just be one minute or thereabout and you upload it here you can simply add a youtube channel there so you can simply add a youtube channel uh, trailer here by first uploading the video and then coming here to select the channel trailer we'll skip that for now but you should do that right then if you have returning subscribers which video do you want them to see you can simply come in here and click in and select one of your top performing videos if you don't have anyone don't worry just leave that for now right then very very important here you can then there are what called featured sections this is the place where you can add sections so first let's add popular uploads it will be there so we have two sections now upload popular uploads then let's add another section let's just say playlist created playlist so typically these are the ones i usually add uploads popular uploads created playlist when you do all of these your channel will look full and rich and it will not be empty now we don't have videos so it might not look it might not reflect you know all the changes we have done but now let's just click on publish so if you go to the channel now it is still empty but we already have sections here sections here but because we don't have a video here now it will not show let's go back to customize channel and see if there's anything we are missing or we'll move on to the next stage of customization so under the co channel customization we've checked the basic info we've done the branding and we've done the layout we're good to go for now so we can go back to view channel and then this time instead of going to customize channel we'll come to the top in here and click at the top here and then go to creator studio so now this is where we can do further customization and optimization of our channel if you come to creator studio just scroll down to the bottom to the very bottom and see this cog wheel here and click on the settings button here and this will give you opportunity to do other things so first for the general you can choose your default and currency just leave that one it's not important then go to channel when you go to channel you can go ahead and then select your country of residence so i'm choosing nigeria here make sure you select your real country it is very very important because time will come where they will recognize you and they want to send things to you and then if you choose a fake country it may not work so now we put keywords right these are very important if you use tubebuddy you'll be able to see the keywords that other channels similar to yours are you can see the channel keywords they are using and so this keyword will help with telling the youtube machine the youtube algorithm what your channel is about so let me just say real estate here for the sake of this demonstration real estate you put comma and i say real tall i put comma i'll say investing meant i put comma investing put comma i say you can put i can say real estate marketing so and all those things that are related to you'll be saying in, on the channel so real estate network marketing so go ahead and put all the relevant keywords you think are relevant to your channel as i said again you could use tubebuddy as install it you could just go to tubebuddy.com slash ask dr malik and then you install it and then you'll be able to see the channel keywords popular 
channels in your niche are already using i will drop a video in the description section below to show you how to do that when you're done just click on save so when we've saved so we'll scroll down to the bottom again and then click on that and go back to channel again so we fixed in the basic info don't worry it will show in later on sometimes it takes some time then advanced setting he says do you want to set no you just go and say no set this channel as not made for kids except if you are doing a, a kids channel so but make sure you keep it at no set this channel as not made for kids if you want to be running google ads you can now go ahead and click on link account um, we are not doing that for now but it's simple it will take you step by step the process and i'll click on save so setting saves i could go back again to the lower portion of my channel studio and then i'll go back still go back to my channel we've done with the basic info we're done with the advanced settings now let's go to feature el eligibility so you discover that there's default features are enabled but they say features that require phone verification there are some features that you will not get until you verify that you're a real human being and then it will require you to use a phone verification so you won't be able to upload videos more than 15 minutes you won't be able to upload a custom thumbnail you won't be able to live stream except you verify so now we are still on the channel studio and we have gone to the settings on the bottom portion and now we are on channel and then we are feature eligibility just eligibility just simply come in here and click verify phone number it says country nigeria and then i could just say uh text me the verification code i'll put my phone number here and so it has sent me verification code 827309 827309 click on submit and boom it says congratulations your youtube account is now verified right so now if we go back to our top right corner and then we'll go to youtube studio and then we we'll scroll down to the bottom left here and then click on settings and then we'll go to our channel and then we'll go to feature eligibility you can see now it's enabled it's enabled and so we are good to go so we are done with all the settings here don't worry this key keyword sometimes it takes some time to show but if it doesn't you can go ahead and reput it and redo it and then insert them again and then we are good to go now the next thing is upload default now this upload default is what helps to simplify your work so that if you post a video some things that you always put in your video description your title and your tags you don't need to be putting them each time you upload the video so you put them in here once and they become a default so that anytime you upload the video they appear under your videos automatically right so basic info is there anything you want to put in your in your in your title not really but me i always use this emoji so i could just put this emoji then tell the viewer about your description so very important here you want to put things like if you have free download you can put it if you, you can put the link if you have your you can put your social media links you can put your website if you have one if you have anything you sell maybe if you have a course paid ebook so if you have your products so you can put your products and services so if you have ebooks you sell you have courses consulting coaching everything you can put it in there then also don't forget to ask them to subscribe so um, basically these are things you want appear under each and every video of yours so instead of you typing it over and over for every video just put it under this upload default once and then it will appear automatically under all of your videos so apart from product and courses ebooks consulting coaching if you are into affiliate marketing you can put your affiliate links there and you're good to go for visibility always leave it at unlisted please always leave it as unlisted so that you have a chance to customize your videos before people see it if you leave it as public immediately you click save or publish it just goes public and maybe you're not done optimizing your videos so leave it as unlisted and if there are tags that you want to appear under all of your videos you can go ahead and put that so let's just say realtor malik and then if you just put malik as one word right so when you are done with this you can simply click save so settings save and then go back to your settings go back to your upload default now we're done with the basic aspects let's go on to the advanced setting so here just leave it as standard youtube license then uh, video language you could just leave it as english except if you are doing something else so you could just leave it as english comment visibility hold potential inappropriate if you want users to see the the number of likes and dislikes for your videos leave user can view ratings for this video ticked i usually leave it on then channel category what's your channel about usually you could go to how to and style 
if you channel is about gaming sport music just choose the appropriate i could just leave it as how to captions just leave none right and then click on save so you can see that we have come a long way with our channel optimization let's go back to settings here and see if there's any other thing left permission community all this you can just leave them as their default settings so with this you discover that our channel is set up from the front and from the back end very well after you're done with this you can simply go back to the mobile view but now you are free to leave your browser and simply go to the youtube and when you come in here you can simply switch in you can simply switch your account and let's log in and see our account switch selected and so i can just simply click on the right button and say your channel and so here is our channel the real so malik channel that we just created and it is empty down here because we don't have any video here now you can go ahead and do any minor editing here here and there you will not be limited any longer because you have used your browser and then the desktop view to do the major changes that you can so you are no longer limited you can go ahead and edit the channel from here you can go ahead and do some other editing here you can go back and then you can manage your videos you can create videos create your channel trailer and create other videos and they will appear under the sections that we created uploads popular uploads playlists then apart from all of these one of the best places you can go to edit your channel for that is what we call the youtube studio yt studio the yt studio you see this yt studio i've done an extensive video on how to use this mobile app very powerful it is not negotiable every youtuber must have this app and it is free it is the youtube studio app it is different from the native youtube app and i've done an extensive video on how to use it you can check it in the description section below it helps you to do check the analytics it helps you to check your videos to manage comment your playlist it gives you detailed analytics and apart from that you can go ahead and uh, do some other edit for your channel and for your video so you can see you can choose each of these videos and edit them after you're done you can use this native youtube app here and then with this yt studio alongside with things like tubebuddy to help to manage your new channel to manage it and to also to further customize and optimize it as you deem fit i hope you find this video very helpful if you find this video very helpful don't forget to hit the like button and stay subscribed and check the description section below for relevant links i mentioned in this video and also for a free download that will help you to easily start grow and monetize a hyper profitable youtube channel fast and you can get it by clicking the link in the description section below and as we usually say in this community play big and i'll see you in the next one Oh,